So I approach uh, this issue as a neurologist by training. So I, I'm interested in how brain influences aspects of frailty like walking. This particular participant is in one of the few laboratories in the country where we are able to measure both gait and brain activity at the same time. My colleague, Dr. Roe Holzer, heads the study. Begin. The square that she's walking on is actually an instrumented walkway, which collects information about the participants' walking patterns. It only, not only tells us how fast she's walking, but it also tells us how big the stride lengths are, uh, how far apart the feet are, and also this interesting concept called variability, which is that each stride is not exactly the same, and that difference between strides also contains a lot of information. You'll also see that she's wearing a sensor around her head, and this enables us to actually track activity in the brain while she's walking. What I want you to do is walk around the mat at your normal pace. And uh, she's walking at a normal pace. So you can see that she's walking freely and she's taking regular strides. In this next video, her instructions are to walk while reciting alternate letters of the alphabet. B, D, F, H, I, J. And this is a challenging task for people at any age. But if you're older and your attentional resources are lower, then you start having difficulty. With this participant, if you watch carefully, you'll notice that at certain points, she slows down and she repeats certain letters while she's doing this task, indicating the increased cognitive demands placed by this task. So for the first time, we're able to actually see or uh, understand what's happening in the brain when somebody is walking. 